um, you know, just looking, I'm entering my 10th year in, in the NFL, and I know I'm, you know, the exception to the rule. Um, so, you know, really finding something to transition into uh, post-football was, was definitely, you know, one of the things that drove this decision. And really just joining an ownership group and an organization, like I said before, that, that has been, you know, you know, the upper crust of, of arena football, um, just the opportunity was, was a really good one. Uh, by the way, the Soul 6-0, and they won again this weekend. They play tomorrow night at the Wells Fargo Center, looking to go 7-0. and And as we said, they hope to be 9-0 and Saturday, May 30, in the DraftKings Boardwalk Ball at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, and they're going to play the Las Vegas Outlaws. And, you know, one of the things, uh, what is it about the Arena League that interests you in being an owner? We talked uh, with Jaws last week about, you know, some of the guys – trying to make that transition and uh, you know he really feels that the league has an opportunity now to send some more guys to the NFL with the way the NFL has changed especially on the offensive side of the ball more spread opportunities uh, what interests you about being a part of the arena league well definitely being a part of, of some of these guys that are playing in the arena league and and you know continuing to give them an opportunity to play while while they chase their dream um, was, was a, a big part of it and you know just I've been a fan of the indoor game and, and the arena game for a while. It's just, it's probably the most intimate uh, fan experience in pro sports. Um, you know, so just being able to see, you know, the, the fans get excited about it. it it's, you know, family friendly. It's, it's you know, a cost effective entertainment option. Um, just all of those things uh, kind of brought me to this point. Uh, Mark East Colson with us from the New Orleans Saints. And obviously you have experience with New Orleans uh, rebuilding down there with everything that happened down there. And obviously on a smaller scale here as Atlantic City is an area that needs some help. They need to attract new uh, activities with the casinos closing as well. So obviously this is something that both you guys but also the city is looking forward to and hoping uh, that it could be a success. But you obviously have a lot of experience in trying to help out with that kind of stuff. For sure. And, and um you know, from, from my experience, just seeing the role that uh, sports in general played in, in this region down here after Hurricane Katrina, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where people can, can kind of get away mentally at least, uh, you know, for a few hours a week and and really um, just enjoy enjoy a, a game um, and that experience. So if we can, you know, bring some of that to Atlantic City, I mean, I'm, I'm just proud to be a part of an organization that, that is looking to do that. Hey, I'm interested to get your thoughts, too, as the draft just passed, Marquise. You were a seventh-round pick back in 2006, and obviously a lot of people look at seventh-rounders as flyers. You've made it in this league for, you just said, coming up on 10 years. When you look at these guys in the draft and that draft comes around, do you ever kind of look back and say, man, you know, I'm kind of an anomaly being a seventh-round pick and having the success that I had in this league? No, all, all the time. And it's it's one of those things where, um, you got to actively know exactly where you stand. And um, like I said before, coming into year 10, um, knowing that the average is, you know, a little less than three years on, on an NFL career, um, I've been able to, to get into a really good situation. And, and um, I, I really enjoyed the ride. And, um, you know, I, I look forward to seeing some of these young guys that got drafted, you know, transition and, and do good things in the league. What is it with the Saints now? What's moving forward here? You guys didn't make the playoffs last year. I know here in Philly – 10 and 6 they didn't make the playoffs and everybody they blew up the whole team you know what do you see from uh, your situation down there a team that didn't make the playoffs yours is a little different situation because you have an established quarterback the Eagles still trying to figure out who that guy is what do you see from the Saints in terms of uh, going from a non-playoff team and how they're trying to get back yeah um, as, as you probably know I mean we, we had a lot of uh, you know transactions and, and movement here in the off season uh, to this point, and um, you know it's just that that constant battle. I mean, everyone's chasing the same goal. You got 32 teams who feel like you know now in May and June, you know they they are putting the pieces together to build a Super Bowl team. So um, you know we're no different. Uh, you know coming off of a draft that uh, I, I think our organization feels really good about. Um, you know we're just trying to put put those pieces together and. Um, get to the right 53 guys come September. Uh, Marquise Colson is with us. He has eight Saints franchise records, and uh, he is one of the uh, 
ball to share in the Philadelphia Soul Arena League team that will be playing in Atlantic City. We're going to have some tickets and opportunities for you guys out there to be a big part of this. There's other events surrounding the game, the pep rally at noon with a live pep band on that day. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, post-game party at Chickies and Pete's at the Tropicana, and uh, you will be there with Ron Jaworski for the post-game party, and that will be a great time. And, you know, obviously – um, this is a big, big deal for both you guys in the soul, but there's been a lot of success with the franchise too. And taking that thing forward, where do you hope to take this, you know, venture for you moving forward? Well, I just, I just want to continue to be a part of an organization um, that that continues to grow. Uh, I think opportunities like this will help us to to grow our fan base here in, in the Northeast, and um, just really continue to to. Um, do our part in pushing the league forward because I, I really believe in the product. And, uh, you know, for those of you ha who haven't seen it, uh, definitely check it out. If, if you're a football fan um, and you like offense and excitement, this game is, is one that you'll like. So, um, you know, just really pushing this uh, this arena football brand forward and, and um, you know, just continuing to grow it. No doubt. And I know as an, uh, one of the group uh, owners of the soul here, when you do stuff in the Philly area, you probably get asked about what Chip Kelly's doing all the time. I mean, it's kind of unprecedented <laughs> with the quarterback being changed, the wideout being gone, the running back being gone. And these aren't low-profile players. These are, you know, pretty high-profile guys. As you as an NFL veteran looking at this, like, what are they doing over there? Or do you kind of see the method behind his madness? Well, he, he has a plan, um, a plan of attack, and he probably did going into the off season. So, uh, like I touched on before, I mean, everyone is doing um, doing what they, they feel is, is the, the right thing to, to get to um, to the postseason and ultimately the Super Bowl. So, I mean, he's, he's probably carrying out his plan, and uh, we'll know in September um, what you guys think of it. We sure will. And uh, DeMarco Murray in, LaShawn McCoy out, Sam Bradford in, Nick Foles out, and uh, obviously Macklin out. And they brought in a first-round uh, pick at uh, Nelson Aguilar as the new wide receiver. He is Marquise Colston. The inaugural DraftKings Boardwalk Bowl uh, will attract more than 10,000 fans at Boardwalk Hall. That is the host, May 30th, to watch the Soul battle the L uh, Las Vegas Outlaws. And that game will be on national television. And starting next Tuesday, we're going to give you an opportunity to be on the field for that game. We'll give you more details. Marquise Colston, pleasure to catch up with you, man. Congratulations on the venture. And uh, good luck. We will see you uh, over there at the Boardwalk Bowl, man. That sounds good, man. Appreciate you guys having me.